In this morning's Health Watch, retired athletes and depression. On Wednesday, we learned that former NFL All-Star Junior Seau had committed suicide. His family has donated his brain to science in hopes of finding out if the concussions he suffered contributed to his depression. But there is another important factor that's being considered right now. His sudden fall from superstar on the field to relative anonymity after his 20-year career. And joining us now is Dr. Philip Stieg. He is chief of neurological surgery at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center. And in San Diego, Dr. Christina Versari. She's president of San Diego University for Integrative Studies. She's written about why stars leave the limelight and what the impact is on both on their lives and it's great to have both of you with us here this morning thanks for joining us pleasure to be here thank you thank you dr versailles i want to start with you because you've written about this and you say that it goes beyond concussions what may have happened in this case so what do you think it is that that seau was facing that contributed to a suicide i think it's very difficult for us to say that at this point because he really didn't fit the profile of the athletes that does not have a smooth transition into a second career. He had everything. He had a very good support system. He had established a business. He had a foundation. He was adored by his fans in San Diego. Uh, he was still in very good shape. He was financially stable. So he really didn't fit the typical profile of the player that does not adjust to the retirement. Dr. Stig, we're talking about multiple factors here, leaving the limelight, the concussions, everything else. We do want to talk about concussions as well, because that's part of the discussion. What is it about concussions that can lead to depression? You have to think of it as a continuum. There's mild traumatic brain injury, then there's traumatic brain injury, and then there's this concept of uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And it's the repetitive injuries that we used to talk about with punch drunk, dementia pugilistica and now chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which has characteristics that involve depression and affective behavioral changes. I know it's incredibly early in this particular case, but any thoughts on why something like this happens? In, in, in regard to Mr. Seau's yeah. uh, circumstances, I think it's way too soon to say anything. There are so many circumstances that go into, if this truly is a suicide, there's so many circumstances that it would be purely speculative. When it comes to depression, Dr. Stieg, does one exacerbate the other? For example, would a concussion exacerbate depression and would depression uh, make uh, the long-term effects of a concussion worse? Well, I think we have to be careful to talk about concussion and then the long-term effects, as I said, the chronic traumatic encephalopathy, where there are repeated episodes of concussions. P people like Mr. Seah, who played football for 20 years and, and possibly had multiple concussions, that's where you're going to be likely see chronic depressive behavior. With a, with a mild traumatic brain injury, a concussion, there's slight affective changes in behavior, but those usually resolve within seven days. Dr. Ver, sorry, very quickly, has, has the way that uh, athletes handle that transition after they stop playing, has it gotten worse? Are, are they handling it worse now than they were 10 or 20 years ago? I don't think if it's gotten worse for athletes. I think whatever happens in sports is a reflection of what's happening in our society. There's more than 18 million people in the United States that suffer from depression, and less than 20% are getting help. 15% of those people commit suicide. Mm -hmm. So what's happening in sports is a reflection of what's happening in the United States, what's happening in our culture. Athletes in general, they do have a difficult time transitioning into a second career. And from my experience, it takes between four and eight years for a professional athlete to adjust to life after sports. Mm -hmm. if and that's, they a, and that's adjust, a long time, Dr. Versari, I'm gonna have to stop you. That, that is a long time given the, uh, the pace at which they work mm -hmm. in the sporting world. Dr. Versari, thank you very much. Right. Also, Dr. Philip Stieg, we appreciate thank your you. time.